I am very late to these videos of closing out this NFL um, topic, so I do apologize to people that have subscribed to me, to people that uh, have been following what I do. Um, I'm still trying to perfect, trying to be uh, trying to be better YouTuber, trying to have better software, so bear with me. Um, I do have a passion for this, and, and I hope that people see that, and I hope people want to um, see the fact that I want to have um, uh, better videos and, and better quality and, and I just I just want to see people enjoy my stuff you know so um, anyway without ranting too much um, I'm gonna start with the cornerbacks honorable mentions so close to the NFL topic um, I'm gonna be late for the hockey topic as well since this season starts on Tuesday so again bear with me uh, honorable mentions cornerbacks um, I'm gonna tell you exactly what that position entails in the actual list so honorable mentions let's just go through it um, the first person is Kendall Fuller. Uh, he's one of those underrated corners. Uh, been playing here for a long time, and he's bounced around with some teams, and he's still uh, very capable of of being that uh, that elite guy, man, that guy that you don't want to throw to. Um, just everywhere around the field, fast dude, just underrated, underrated player. Um, definitely commanders have a great one with him, so uh, they really should appreciate that, and I think they should definitely sign him long term. Uh, he is 28 years old, seven years in the league. He has one year, eight and a half million dollars left in his deal. So, um, yeah, like I said, they need to re-sign him, especially if they want to try to see, you know, um, about the future of this team. I think Forbes is going to be all right, you know, but I think having Fuller, um, veteran presence that that's uh, all over the field, great tackler, uh, can get picks, can be disruptive. It's it's, it's good for the team. 17 games that he played and started, three interceptions, two touchdowns in those interceptions, 13 pass deflections, 52 tackles, and a tackle for loss. Again, he was active. He was all over the field, and he should be on this honorable mention list. He's relevant, and uh, definitely um, I'm excited to see what he does, what he's been doing, and uh, we'll see what he does this year. Next on the list, we got Charvarius Ward. Charvarius Ward, San Francisco 49ers, cornerback, very physical corner, Super Bowl champion with the Kansas City Chiefs. I got signed to San Fran, and he's been uh, been pretty pretty impressive. Um, not a guy that's going to get picks for you, but he's a great cover corner, lockdown. Um, he does a great job of uh, definitely shutting down some star receivers out there. He definitely should be involved in this honorable mention list. He's relevant. He's a star. Um no superstar, but he's a star, and uh, I do believe that uh, he's got the ability of changing a game uh, with his presence out there in the field. Javier Swartz, 28 years old, five years in the league, two years, $27 million left in his deal with a 2024 potential out. That would be $17.19 million in dead cap for the Niners. He played 17 games and started one pick, 11 pass deflections, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, 87 tackles, and three tackles for loss. Playoffs, three games played, three pass deflections, and 13 tackles. Overall, great player. Uh, definitely uh, needing needing of him on this defense, and uh, yeah, we'll see how he does this year. And next, we got a future Hall of Famer, first ballot. Definitely was one of those guys that competed with Richard Sherman and Darrell Rebus for the best corner in the 2010s. Uh, Definitely, he's uh, slowed down. He's he's older. He's still relevant, man. He's still amazing. He put up some numbers that could put him in top ten material, honestly. Um, it's just the depth of corners in this league has uh, increasingly gotten more impressive, and, and it's it's hard to really rank this type of position. There's just a lot of them, uh, a lot of great guys that are superstars, studs. Uh, Patrick Peterson, 33 years old, 12 years in the league. Uh, two years, $14 million left on his deal. He signed with Pittsburgh, actually. Uh, so he is a stealer for now. Uh, 2024 potential out with the $2.925 million in dead cap for the Steelers. He played and started 17 games, five interceptions, 15 pass deflections, 66 tackles, three tackles for loss, playoff game. Only one. They lost against the Giants. He had five tackles. That's it. But overall, the impact that he has at his age is uh, tremendous, and uh, they're going to need him out there in Pittsburgh. I think it's a, a great signing. Uh, it's a vet 
presence. That's a Hall of Famer, and and uh, they need it. They need it in Pittsburgh. Their secondary is kind of kind of weak besides Minka. So overall, um, I do believe uh, Pat Pete is still relevant in this league. All right, next up we got Philadelphia Eagles. James Bradbury. Um, definitely, uh, we were looking to see if he would have gotten resigned. He did. He actually resigned with Philly. Um, and a really uh, incredibly stacked defense. Uh, they're secondary. I mean, they could be the weakest link, I think, on the defense, but it's still it's still there. I think Philly's still got what they have, and they have enough, I feel like, to, to have a Super Bowl trip, actually to win a Super Bowl, really. So overall, you, you got to definitely uh, see that um, there is the ability of uh, having um, multiple superstars. I think he's one of those guys that's underrated in what he does. Um, James Bradbury is 30 years old, seven years in the league, three years, $38.3 million left in his deal, 2025 potential out with $12.5 million in dead cap, uh, 17 games played and started, three interceptions, one for touchdown, 17 pass deflections, 44 tackles, two tackles for loss. Playoff-wise, uh, three games played and started, uh, went to the NFC Championship game, lost to the Niners. Uh, he had one interception for two pass deflections and ten tackles. Second team all pro. Uh, so overall, he had a great year and a very impactful player. And, uh, they are going to need him definitely this year. So I, I appreciate that, and uh, I hope to I hope to see uh, I hope to to see what he does. Uh, I'm excited to see uh, impact that he does this year. All right, uh, DJ Reed, next guy, New York Jets. Um, definitely a guy that was in the Seattle Seahawks system. Definitely you could see uh, ball hawk uh, just all over the field, hard hitter. I mean, you could see that he was uh, raised in a great organization and brought him to New York. Uh, got a great contract for him, and, and look what he's been able to do, man. I mean, it's been it's been crazy, crazy to see that. Uh, DJ Reed, he's been uh, – He's young. He's still young. Uh, 26 years old, five years in the league, two years, $22 million left in his deal with the Jets. 17 games played and started. He had an interception, 12 pass deflections, one forced fumble, 80 tackles, a tackle for loss. So, overall, tackling machine for a corner, fucking nice. Uh, overall, um, like I said, he is a guy that's going to hit you and going to hit you hard, and I think the Jets really need that. So, uh, it's one of the many uh, great, great pieces out here in the defense and uh you know i know they're struggling right now but i, I do believe they can get it together and uh, you know possibly get a wild card spot i mean it's going to be tough afc is tough but we'll see how it goes uh especially with the aaron Rodgers injury but uh dj reed is a bright spot in the defense and on the team next up actually is on the other side of the jets defense a rookie of the year um Honestly, one guy that it was very hard to see if I had to put him on the list or not just because of how great he is. Um, I do believe that he's still going to continue to improve, and he's uh, he's definitely developed, more developed than I thought he would be. I mean, uh, we know he was a high draft pick, but damn, Sauce Gardner. Uh, Sauce Gardner, um, first of all, he's so young. He hasn't played uh, not even two years in the league yet. Um, he's a superstar in the making. He's one of the best corners in the league. Um, pretty much molding into one. Uh, he may not be top 10, but that's just, like I said, the list is, it's hard to, to kind of project and, and judge, you know, but he, this guy's going to be top 10 next year, definitely top 10 corner in the league. I mean, just the way he, he carries himself, the way he just plays, uh, shut down, just shut down six, four, and, and, uh, just one of those new gen corners, man, tall corners that, uh, gets it done. He's all over the field, athletic, fast, everything you want. Uh, Sauce Gardner is 23 years old, one year in the league. Uh, three years, $11.25 million left in his rookie deal. Uh, 17 games played and started. Two picks, 20 pass deflections, which led the league, by the way. 75 tackles, three tackles for loss, one QB hit. He is physical. Um, he did win Defensive Rookie of the Year. Um, he, d he was eighth on Defensive Player of the Year. Um, voting for a rookie that's crazy uh, he was a first team all pro pro bowler great year for him just to start out as a rookie and have all that happen to him with a first team all pro it was very hard not to put him on the list um just uh, like i said it's it's hard man but uh i just i, I think like maybe one more year for me and, and i think he's there so 
overall, um, great job from Sauce Gardner. And, uh, yeah, yeah, honorable mention for sure. Uh, next up, I mean, this guy's been around for a while, and he's still um, one of the focal points, one of the leaders. Um, just, you know, one of those guys that's underrated, no one really looks about, no one talks about, researches about, watches. Uh, but he's under Bill Belichick's watch. He's been since he got drafted, and he's been phenomenal. He's won Super Bowls. Uh, he may not be the focal point of the team with those Super Bowls, but, I mean, as of right now, he's gained himself uh, the respect of being one of the best corners on the team and one of the leaders and mentors for Christian Gonzalez, really. Um, Jonathan Jones, 30 years old, seven years in the league. What he's able to do, I mean, he's got two years, $19 million left in his deal with the Patriots. I do expect them to re-sign him. I mean, the talent level is still there. He's, he's got a you know, star across his forehead, you know, man. He plays, he balls out every Sunday, you know. Uh, 16 games he played and started. Four interceptions, one touchdown with that interception, 11 pass deflections, three forced fumbles, 69 tackles. Again, he's all over the field. He's somewhere, someone you need to know where he's at. And uh, he's a uh, very bright spotlight in the in the Patriots defense and the Patriots organization. So overall, um, yeah, he's honorable mention-wise and uh, you know, good for him. Good for him. Uh, next up on the list. It's really hard, actually, to find videos of Xavier and Howard. Um, I mean, uh, for a guy that was playing uh, the majority of the year, he didn't have any highlights of this past year, which was weird. Um, and, I mean, maybe it's because his numbers weren't as high up with his interception rate. But, I mean, overall, he's still an impactful player. Um, definitely one of the guys that you definitely um, need to pay attention for, especially with Jalen Ramsey getting injured on that team. Uh, Xavier Howard, I think he's still a ball hawk. He's still got some, uh, he's still got some miles to him. Uh, definitely underrated again. Not many people know about Xavier Howard, but he, what he's been able to do uh, these past few years in the league has been incredible. So you, you gotta, you gotta give credit where credit's due. Uh, Xavier Howard is thirty years old, seven years in the league, four years, seventy-one point seventy-five million dollars on his contract. So uh, either people are gonna think, ah, oh, he's a little overpaid. I think it's a little bit overpaid. It's not that much overpayment. Maybe, you know, maybe you can cut off 10 more mil just because he is aging and we don't know what's going to happen uh, for the rest of the year and, and whatnot, you know. But uh, 2024, potential out for him, $27.1 million in dead cap. So that's that's a crazy amount for Miami to lose there. Uh, 15 games played and started, one interception, 12 pass deflections, two fumble recoveries, one fumble recovery for touchdown. 45 tackles and a tackle for loss in the playoffs. A game played and started, lost to the Bills. One interception, two pass deflections, three tackles, and a Pro Bowler. So, overall, you get what you get, and you needed to sign him back up just because he has all pro potential. So, overall, uh, Xavier Howard, still relevant, still a great corner, and I'm excited to see what he does this year. And back to young star up in here, man, Tyson Campbell. Uh, a guy that just got drafted two years ago, I believe. Um, Tyson Campbell is still young. He's still producing. But he's going to be a superstar in Jacksonville. I think he's a very key focal point um, that will be, uh, you know, be considering out there um, for their defense. I know they got some, some key guys out there. Tyson Campbell will be a key guy in their success in the future. I definitely believe that. Uh, just the way he, he plays, man. He balls out every Sunday. He uh, he gets active, man. He gets, he get, he's aware. He knows his surroundings. He has some instinctual plays, and you know he's ready. He's looking for the football. He's, he's reading you. He's reading the QB. Um, he's got an IQ that's, uh, it's pretty high, man. It's pretty high for a young guy. I, I definitely uh, believe he's, he's got it in him. It's a God-given gift for him. And uh, Tyson Campbell is 23 years old, two years in the league, two years, three point thirty-six million dollars left in his rookie deal. So he might, he will definitely be getting some big bucks. Uh, 17 games played and started, three interceptions, 15 pass deflections, one forced fumble, two fumble recoveries, one for touchdown from the fumble recovery, 70 tackles, and two tackles for loss. Uh, playoffs, two games played and started, loss to the Chiefs, six tackles. Again, can he be better? Can he be more active in the playoffs? Sure, of course, but that comes with age, it comes with time and patience and learning your craft, and I do believe he's got that ability, and yeah, he's a... Uh, He's definitely uh, one of those guys that's uh, going to be a top 10 list 
pretty soon. So. Uh, next, we got a vet who uh, is another underrated athlete. I feel like he's he's a playmaker. He's a great slot corner. Uh, he's definitely some guy that you need, man. He's uh, more of a third corner. Um, I don't know if I could see him being an everyday, um, you know, one or two out there. But uh, I do believe that he has great impact, especially when uh, they're playing zone, when they're playing, uh, when they need an extra man out there. Razul Douglas is a ball hawk. Uh, he's, he's aware of what's going on. He's aware of what he needs to do. Um, unfortunately, no clips of him this past year, which, again, is weird, but... I did what I could. At least I got you something here to, to kind of show you what he's about. Um, definitely Razul Douglas, uh, 28 years old, six years in the league, two years, $14.7 million left in his deal with Green Bay. 17 games played, 12 started. So, again, he's uh, sometimes he's starting, sometimes he's not. He's, he's definitely, um, he knows his role, and he plays it really well. Four interceptions, 13 pass deflections, one forced fumble, one fumble, one sack. 85 tackles, four tackles for loss, one QB hit. I mean, can I explain more? He's everywhere. He does everything super well for a corner. That's rare. and um, He's just one of those guys, man. You need one of those guys, one of those third guys, one of those third options. Um, I'm not saying he can't play one or two, but he definitely excels at that three spot. So overall, Razoo Douglas, uh, good, great player. Oh, uh, the next up, man, I'm going to get, uh, I feel like I get criticized by, uh, my friend Ryan, man. He's a huge Steeler fan. I know he's going to, he's going to tell me he's terrible. Um, uh, stats kind of speak otherwise. Um, I don't believe he's awful. I don't believe he's the best. Uh, I don't believe he's top 10 worthy, but I think he's relevant enough. I think he still produces and he does what he does on a Sunday, you know. Uh, Pittsburgh may have been very frustrated with him as a covering, you know, but, uh, I think he gets the job done for the most part. He, sh he should uh, he should get some credit for for his play. Um, he's now in Detroit now, uh, 28 years old, six years in the league, signed three years, $33 million to be in Detroit, 2025 potential out with a $6.54 million in dead cap for Detroit. 16 games played, 15 started, three interceptions, 15 pass deflections, 43 tackles, and tackle for loss. Again, I can't say he is complete buns. I can't say he's terrible. I just I'm gonna say he's a good corner, you know. I, th I think he's still he's still effective. He can still affect the game, and I think Detroit has gained a, a pretty good free agent signing, in my opinion. So overall, Cam Sutton deserving of being on here. All right, um, another future Hall of Famer. Uh, who has won Defensive Player of the Year before. Uh, great uh, for what he did for uh, for New England. He did a great job in Indianapolis, got traded. Now he's a Dallas Cowboy, and honestly, that is uh, exactly, I think, what they needed. They needed a uh, kind of a shutdown. Um, I'm number one. I'm going to get the best receiver out here in the field, and I'm going to shut him down. That's Stephon Gilmore, man. Honestly, that's a great thing for Dallas, I think. Uh, especially early on, their defense is phenomenal. They're scary, and they could definitely have – they could be a threat for a Super Bowl championship this year. Uh, Stephon Gilmore going to be one of those key pieces. He's 33 years old, 11 years in the league. One year, $9.98 million that he signed for Dallas. Uh, 16 games played and started. Two interceptions, 11 pass deflections, and 66 tackles. No playoffs, but that's also because the Colts were terrible. So, overall, you want a guy like this guy in the playoffs – um, he's going to shut down the best receiver, and he's going to get it done. And he's very quiet, but he is a ball hawk, and he is a stud. So, overall, future Hall of Famer, great to see that he's still here, and he is relevant. All right, next up, second to last player on the video is Tredavious White. Tredavious White, um, I honestly feel bad for Tredavious White because he just got an injury that's uh, – Going to cost him the whole year. Um, another guy that's, I mean, he didn't miss much time. And the past two years, it's been it's been rough. But uh, he's been one of those guys that you rely on, one of those guys that you want on your team, and very valuable to the Buffalo Bills team. I think it's it's sad to see him go. I, I really do 
I think Buffalo can still be competitive. I still think they can get to a Super Bowl, but I don't know. There's something about their injuries. It's just like their window's there, and then all of a sudden they get a big injury, and then it's like it really affects their whole team. And I do believe it's going to be one of those that's going to affect their team, um, and so much so that I, I don't know if they might go to a playoff, man, because uh, they'll go to the playoffs. I mean, they, it will affect them from going to a Super Bowl. Excuse me. Um, so overall, though, Trey White, superstar, when he comes back, he – in my opinion, I think he could be top 10 again, uh, definitely. Just injuries have definitely derailed him, and that's sad to say. Uh, 28 years old, six years in the league. Three years, $33.08 million left in his deal. 2024 potential out with a $10.36 million in dead cap for the Bills. Uh, six games played and started last year. One interception, six pass deflections, and 20 tackles. He would, came back for the playoffs, played two games, lost to the Bengals in the divisional round. He had two pass deflections and six tackles. What he can do, I mean, a hell of a lot better than that, for sure. I mean, he's probably going to have, like, three or four picks. He's probably going to have 10 to 15 pass deflections. Um, he's going to have definitely around 70 tackles, something like that. So, overall, I mean, he's still uh, he's still effective, and we still need to know that he's still relevant. All right, lastly, um, the guy that will definitely be top 10 less um, very soon, uh, if not that by the end of – this next year, I'll have a countdown with him in it, man. Uh, A.J. Terrell, 25 years, three years in the league, two years, $14.9 million left in his rookie deal. Um, A.J. Terrell is an um, exceptional athlete, uh, great cover corner, um, athletic, and uh, he does everything so well. Definitely a bright spot in Atlanta's future. Definitely want to keep him for the long term. I think he's got all pro potential for him. Uh, AJ Terrell, 14 games played and started, nine pass deflections, one fumble, one fumble recovery, 47 tackles, and a tackle for loss. Um, yeah, I mean, I just I believe in him. I, I believe he's going to have an exceptional year, and uh, I do think you'll need to look at him more and know that he's going to be one of those superstars in this league for a long time. 